everyone. Obviously Easter is approaching very fast. With uh, many, for many of us, we have bank holidays tomorrow and then it's the Easter weekend. And it was just some quick thoughts to remember for anyone who is neurodivergent or who has had trauma in their past, that holidays can be a triggering time. So firstly, as adults, it's to think about yourself and your needs. And if you need to keep things low key, keep them low key. If you don't want to be hanging out with other people, just keep it small, keep it quiet. Um, there's also some some things about expectations in terms of celebrations that they should happen a certain way and again it's about thinking can I let go of those expectations can I just recreate an entirely new celebration or have no celebration um, an extra added thing to think about if you have neurodivergent kids is that the, the change in routine can be triggering so maybe have a chat with your child if they're old enough to think about these things and see whether they would like you to set up a routine written out for the day, a schedule for the day each day so they know what's coming. You know, do, do those sorts of things help and they can contribute to the structure of the day when they have playtime, when they have screen time, whether you're going out to prepare them in advance. If you've got any booked in events, you could have a week in advance on the wall with pictures and simple words. So it's about creating routine and ex setting expectations at the beginning of the week. And again, for your, for your kids, have a think about whether they need a more low-key celebration than would normally be expected or anticipated and think about their needs when you're having big gatherings is there somewhere quiet they can escape to if they need to just a few little tips to think about and wishing you all a wonderful break take care